The Sabeza 25 has been out for a while now. Uh, was able to pick one up and add to uh, um, my CRK knives, and I just wanted to share with you just my thoughts on, on uh, what I thought about this new design. You know, it's 25 years anniversary of the Sabenza, and uh, like the 21, which came out um, on the 21st year, uh, they changed the design a little bit. In fact, and they changed it a lot more than they changed the 21. The 21 was very similar to the classic, okay, with some minor changes uh, here and there. But the 25 is actually um, quite a bit different uh, than the Sabenzas of the past. Um, the main one would be the bushing. Um, the pivot bushing here is gone. Um, you know, Sabenzas have, have, have always stood out as being a knife with tight tolerances with that bushing system where you could tighten down that uh, pivot and still be as smooth as possible. Okay. Um, other knives where you'd have to twist it, tweak it, and get it so that there wasn't any blade play. Um, and so there was no guessing game with the with the older version of the Sabenza, which a lot of people like. Uh, Chris Reeve came out with the Umnumzan, okay, which got a, got uh, went away with the, the bushing and actually uh, went with more of a traditional uh, uh, pivot. Um, but the, the high tolerance that tolerances that Chris Reeve puts on his knives, um, it really you know you could take this pivot out and still not get any blade play. Um, that's how that's just how close and and to close to detail and, and the tolerances you can't see any light through these spaces here. And so um, that part of it really doesn't bother me. I don't I don't mind that just because it's made so well. Um, if you've seen any of my older other videos, you know that the Unum Zom is one of my favorite knives. Um, I just really love how it deploys. I like uh, the blade thickness. I like the the lock bar with the ceramic ball that contacts uh, the tang there, and that's just uh, very smooth. And you don't have that stickiness that you some people come across with with some of the Sabenzas with the titanium. Um, on the steel and the locking mechanism, even though it's heat treated, you sometimes you get a little stick. I don't get that with the with that uh, new uh, uh, locking uh, mechanism there with the with the ceramic ball. Um, so what happened is they basically took everything that was good about the Umnums on and incorporated it into the Sabenza 25. So you can see it, they've adopted the same ceramic ball into this, so you got rid of any of the stickiness that was a, a problem in some of the earlier Sabenzas. Um, you have the thicker blade stock. The blade stock is as thick as the Umnum's on. So you're, you're gaining a little bit of thickness there. With You can see the difference there with this Sabenza 21. So you're gaining thickness there, so you're really getting a, a nice, robust knife. Uh, the pivot has been changed. You can see the difference in the pivot. A lot, a lot bigger pivot. Some people like that for strength. Okay, you are changing your design of the handle. Uh, the 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 simple look of the Sabenza uh, 21 here, with just the one notch there and the straight straight lines have been changed. He chose to do more of a scalloped look here on the bottom, just uh, almost like finger choils. And uh, you know what? It's I, I don't mind it at all. I think it's just a, a I think it fits the hand really well. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, and so I think that's a, a good improvement. As far as aesthetics go, personally, I like the looks of the of the 21. I just think Design-wise, I think it looks nice, especially with these inlays. These inlays, I don't think you can do something like this on here, um, just because this is so broken up. Um, it just ruins the line. So I think if they ever do an inlay for the Sabenza 25, um, personally, I think a solid inlay would work better, and I think would make more sense since they got rid of the annuals. Um, I think a solid, some sort of a solid inlay 
might might look but uh, you know I really don't think in my opinion I think it's hard to beat the look of this inlay as almost a uh, um, art deco type style to it uh, which I appreciate um, but as far as the Sabenza 25 goes, um, it is a it is a beautiful knife. It's it it keeps the um, the tradition of the Sabenza. It's not that drastically different, but really improves a lot of area, a lot of areas such as the the blade thickness, the locking bar. They've added two thumb studs that comes uh, standard now, which uh, was an additional price on the previous on Sabenza 21s and and uh, and regulars. So. That comes standard now, which a lot of people enjoy. Um, they've gotten rid of the lanyard hole. It's gone. The lanyard is, is wrapped around the, the, the back pillar. Okay. And they've also gotten rid of the, um, the hole that was placed in the Sabenza basically for uh, machining purposes. Um, that was a kind of a complaint. Every, it bugged a lot of people. Why is there a hole there? It matches the one on the bottom, but for some reason, a lot of people didn't like that. So they finally got rid of it. They have you know different machine processes where they didn't need it anymore. So now it's a nice, sleek, very uh, uh, streamlined look uh, without that hole there. So um, you know it's all personal preference. People, some people are gonna like. You're gonna make something. There's always gonna be someone that doesn't like it. But uh, I think I think they did a great job. And of course, everything is rock solid and and. Uh, this example is, is centered, so it's uh, definitely, a, a, um, I think it's a, 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 they did a great job uh, with this, with this example. Um, let's compare it to the regular, regular Sabenza, which is now discontinued. Um, a lot of people are uh, big fans of this, of this design, they, of the scalloped lock bar here and the bull nose blade. Um, let's compare the two. The blade's going to be a little more uh, similar to the regular. So people who are fans of the regular, you're going to get a little bit less pointy of an of a blade than you do with the uh, the 21. Not a whole. I don't even know if you can tell that there, but it's a little less. Um, not quite as bull nose in styling as the regular, but uh, and of course. The regular's blade uh, stock is going to be uh, the same as the 21, so it's thinner than the 25. Um, there's a die-hard regular fans that really love the regular, and I, I, I am a big fan of the of the regular. And I think if you are a Sabenza or CRK fan, if you can find one, I would highly recommend uh, um, picking one up because it is a really nice design and it feels really really good in the hand. But the Sabenza 25, I would not hesitate to uh, jump into the um, CRK arena buying the 25. If it's your first CRK knife, definitely one that I would recommend purchasing. Um, just a great design um, and uh, I think it definitely keeps in step with previous uh, Sabenza that I've come across throughout the years. So, uh, anyways guys, um, I don't think if there's anything else that I might forget. Oh, the jimping. Jimping is a lot better. Now, CRK has, has changed their jimping quite a bit through the years. And to be honest with you, most of it has been non-functional. And they've gotten a little bit better. But then this jimping, I don't know what they did. They have some, if you look closely, the notches are different. They alternate. I think there's two, then one deep one, and some V, some v shape, some a little more round. Anyways, whatever they did really made it grippy, and locks your finger in there, and it is definitely functional. So if that's something that you're concerned about um, and like, this is this is definitely the knife for you. Very functional, but doesn't tear up your fingers, um, and that's it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, hope to be uh, giving a little bit more of an update on my uh, collection in the future. Thanks.